Okay, so to start, we are gonna start in a seated position, but in thunderbolt pose or hero's pose. So I'm gonna turn backwards just so you can see. My, my big toes are together, but I'm gonna let my heels kind of drop out at an angle so that when I sit back, it creates a little bit of a seat for my butt to kind of settle into. Now, this is not necessarily a comfortable pose for everybody. So if you need a little support for this one, you might choose to just sit onto a block or onto a pillow, just in case your knees don't like that extreme position. But if it feels good to be all the way seated back on your heels, just take a second to kind of get cozy, make sure everything feels comfortable. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of grounding work and then we'll get out of this. So bring one hand to the belly, one hand to your heart. Take a second to just close your eyes down or soften your gaze. Take a couple nice deep breaths, just allowing your focus to come inward. And then if you're already in this position and you're like, this seat does not work for me, easy seat, any comfortable seat that, that works just so that you can ground yourself. We're just giving ourselves a moment here to let your mind quiet down. <clears throat> so notice if you've brought anything in with you from your day, if your mind is still racing, or if you've rushed to get here, take a moment, let everything quiet down, and then just start to observe the thoughts that are passing through your mind without trying to hold on to anything or process anything. So start to, if you can, let things pass in and out without any kind of judgment. And then before we move away from this place, take a moment here to set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. And then with that intention set, we're gonna come forward into a tabletop position. So bring your hands out in front, wrists in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. And then just for a second, just notice how the results of that hero's pose or that thunderbolt feels. Notice the backs of your legs, the backs of your knees. And then just take a couple of gentle cat cows here. Inhale and drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale and round your back. Inhale to drop your belly. Exhale to round your back. One more breath here. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale to round your back. And then we're going to come down onto our belly. So take your time, bring elbows and forearms down, step your feet back. Take your time as you start to find your way down onto your belly. And then before we get into our position, we're just going to bend the knees and just let the knees drop a little or let your heels drop a little side to side. So find a soft position that you can just let those feet fall side to side. And then just tune in here and notice how does your back feel? What's your energy level like? And then how does your head, neck, and shoulders feel? So our first position that we're going to get into, but we're not going to go for a three-minute hold. We're just going to hold it for <clears throat> a minute and a half is going to be a little head turn with a neck stretch. So let your toes soften down towards the ground. You're going to let your right arm come out at your side, and you're going to turn your head to the left and let your left hand come under your cheek. Now, for some of us, that might be an extreme position. So if the hand underneath the cheek is a little too much, leave that part off and just take the head turn. And then I'm gonna turn my head to the right just so that my microphone is not in the way to so get a visual. So fingertips are gonna be underneath the cheek and then everything else is gonna soften down. And you're just gonna see if you can let your body come into a little stillness here.
take the time here to notice if you're holding tension in your jaw, your cheekbones, or in the space between your eyebrows, can you let those spaces soften? Notice if you're holding any tension in your hands, can you let your hands soften? And then if at any point the fingers under your cheek becomes too intense and you feel like you're just holding your neck in a ways to support it because it feels like it's too much, release your fingers. Your head will still be turned and you'll still get that sensation without going too extreme. Take one more breath here. And then we're just gonna slowly, mindfully, gently lift your head away from your hand. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. So you're gonna extend your hand out, turn your head in the other direction. And then the fingers are gonna come under the cheek if that's appropriate. And then once you found your way there, just come back to that soft stillness, softening through your neck, softening in your hands, softening through your cheek, your jaw and the space between your eyes. And then as you start to find that softer, quieter position, you might be able to tune in and notice that light bit of compression of the floor against your belly. So you might feel the breath there. Take one more breath here. And then slowly, gently, mindfully, lift your head up away from your hand, rotate your head, and then just bring both hands alongside the shoulders with your elbows soft in at your ribs. We're gonna take three low cobras here just to bring a little bit of movement into the spine. So as you inhale, gently lift your heart just a little bit. Exhale and soften it back down. Inhale and lift your heart up just a little bit. Exhale and soften down. Inhale, lift up just a little bit. And now we're gonna start to move our way into a sphinx pose. So you're gonna press into your hands so that you can prop your elbows up underneath your shoulders. So elbows in line with the shoulders, hands in parallel or hands slightly turned out. You're gonna see which variation might feel good to you there. Then once you've got your sphinx position, you're gonna soften. Soften through your butt, the backs of your legs and your feet, start there. And then check in with your head and your neck. Would it feel good to slightly tuck your chin down and let your head hang heavy? Or would it feel good to keep it in a more neutral position? And then you just ask your body what feels more appropriate and then hang out there and find a little stillness, softening through your jaw. Notice if you're holding tension in your hands or gripping in your fingers, can you let your fingers be soft?
Take a moment to assess how's your low back feeling. <clears throat> As we hold these postures, these yin postures, we put a positive stress on the connective tissue, the bones, the ligaments and the joints. So if you feel like things are feeling good and you want just a little bit more from here, press into your palms and come into your seal. So you lift the elbows up and away from the ground. Now this requires a little bit more effort and you wanna make sure it feels like a safe position to be in. But then once you've got your way here, soften again, soften the muscles through the back of the body. Arms are supporting, shoulders are helping work, but can you soften your butt, the muscles in the back and the backs of your legs? Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly and gently, bend your elbows, lower yourself down. And then with that lower position, forehead can rest on your hands or on the floor, bend your knees again and come back to that swish of your heels side to side. One more little swish of the heels side to side, and then we're gonna keep those legs bent and then we're just gonna kind of mush the feet around. So wiggle your toes, move your ankles, find a nice little bit of organic movement of the feet and then just check in. How are your feet feeling? How are your toes feeling? The next position we're gonna to get to is a toe stretch, but we're not gonna stay there for the full three minutes. So when you feel ready, push your way back up into a tabletop position, and then we're gonna curl the toes under and then start to bring your butt back towards your heels. And you might be there. That might be more than enough for you. And you're gonna find a comfort level in that tabletop position. But if it feels good and you want a little bit more sensation and you can handle sitting back on the heels, then come to the more upright position. But know that everybody's feet are a little bit different. So don't feel like you need to go to any extreme to get a good stretch through the bottoms of the feet. <clears throat> but once you've got yourself in a place that feels right to you, invite some softness in. Soften through the tops of your thighs. Let your shoulders be soft. If you've come back to your heels and it becomes a little intense, you can always lift your butt up away from your heels to lighten up sensation, but we still wanna encourage softness through the feet, a softness that's encouraged with the breath. So take a nice gentle inhale and a slow but natural exhale. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly lift yourself forward into that tabletop position, release your toes, and then just give them a little wiggle. Wiggle your toes, wiggle the bottoms of your feet, wiggle your ankles. Nice. Now the next position we're gonna get to is extended child's pose, and we're gonna add that side bend. So bring your big toes together, walk your knees out nice and wide, and then draw your butt back towards your heels. Start there. This is going to be three minutes one side, three minutes on the other. So make sure you get nice and comfortable here. Now, if you like, you can just stay in the center for that full six minutes. But if you prefer a little side bend action, you're going to start to walk your hands over and off the left side of your mat. And then you can opt to stack your hands or just keep them apart. That'll be totally up to you. So we want to encourage the hips to stay where they are, but arms are reaching off to the side and then elbows are going to get soft and heavy. Forehead's going to soften down. And then see if you can just come back to your breath here, just watching your inhale, watching your exhale. No need to force or change the breath, but let the breath be your barometer. If you're efforting in your breath, you might be going too deep into a pose. So you just wanna monitor that you're taking care to find a softness within your own self.
If you chose to stay in the middle, you might opt to keep staying there. But if you walked your hands over to one side, stay nice and low, start to walk your hands over and off the other side of the mat. And you can choose, stack your hands or keep them apart. In my yin practice, I personally prefer my hands apart so my forehead can soften down. But if you feel like the stacked hands just gives you that little bit more sensation, you do whatever version feels good to you. And then once you've got your way there, invite some softness back in. Softening into your breath. Soften your jaw. Soften the space between your eyes. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to walk your hands back to center if you are off to the side and then gently start to lift yourself up. Coming through a tabletop position and then walking your knees in. We're gonna slide the right leg back and with the toes curled under, like you're making big circles, draw circles with your ankles. So let your knee be a little bit soft and just kind of move through the back of the leg, swinging that heel around in some circles, go in one direction. And then take that heel and draw it in circles, go the other way. And you can roll around onto the top of your toe, any little bit of movement there just to bring a little length back into the back of the leg. And then when you feel good and ready, slide that leg in and switch to the other side, slide the left leg back, and then just roll around, drawing nice big circles with your heel, go in one direction. Awesome, and then draw those circles, go the other way. Cool, now the next position we're gonna get to is our frog pose. So personally, for my own practice, I don't have mischievous knees. My knees give me no issue. So I like to take my knees off onto a hard surface and then I kind of slide into position. And then as I start to relax my muscles, everything kind of sinks into place. That is not the case for everybody. So you might choose to stay sideways on your mat so you've got plenty of cushioning. And then you might choose to just come down elbows and forearms. That does mean that your elbows and your shoulders are gonna be a little bit more active in this position, but you'll encourage softening through the muscle tissue. You can also take a stack of pillows and help support that position. But I'm gonna flip around just so you can see. 
you can take it on your backside as well. So if you have a wall or like Anne has her bed frame available, you're gonna spin onto your back and then you're gonna step your feet onto your wall in a wide position, whatever wide position works for you. So this doesn't create as much stress on the knees. You still get that same position, but now gravity is gonna do a little work for you. And then over time, you might choose to step your feet a little bit wider. For some people, the position will look like this. For me, I just have that external rotation, so that works good for me. So you choose the variation that you like the best, and then we're just gonna find our way there. Stepping your knees out wide or stepping your feet up against the wall and then supporting it in a way that works good for you. Once you've got your way there, take a moment, check with your breath. Take a nice, big, generous inhale. Notice how you're feeling. And then if you feel like you've chosen the wrong adventure, flip yourself around, flip over onto your back or turn yourself sideways. Find a position that works good for you and a depth that feels sustainable. So you should be able to relax the muscles in the outer thighs, the inner thighs. We're halfway through our hold in this position. So just tune in and notice how are things feeling? Has it become too extreme? Do you need to walk your knees in a little bit closer? Is everything still feeling good and you're breathing comfortably? And if so, just keep relaxing the muscles, the muscles in the outside of your thighs, your glutes, your inner thighs. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to bring yourself out. So if your belly down, you're gonna walk your knees in and then find a little bit of movement in the hips that feels good to soothe. You might choose to rock your hips a little side to side. If you're on your back, you might choose some windshield wipers just to kind of soothe all that out. And then when you feel like you've got all of that worked out, we're gonna find our way into a deer seat. So a zigzag seat, one leg in front, one leg out to the side. So spin yourself around or swing your legs around, whatever gets you there. One leg in front of the body, one leg off to the side, and then we're gonna add a little twist. So facing the leg that's in front of you, you're gonna rotate towards that knee and then find your way into a twist that works good for you. So you might choose just a twist with the upright chest, you might choose to come down elbows and forearms. If you've got plenty of space, I have a little bit of me that gets in the way. So I like that elbows and forearms position, but if you've got plenty of space to room, you might choose to take it all the way down into reclined position with the arms reaching out. So choose the depth that works great for your body. And then once you've found your way there, see if you can invite some softness and soften your legs. Try to encourage a little softness around the belly and the chest.
And then see if you can just pay attention to the physical action of breath in your body here. Take a quick moment to notice if you picked up tension in your legs, your inner thighs or your feet, can you let those spaces soften? Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to lift yourself up. As you come through and unwind, pause in the center, take a nice big breath and just feel that fresh wave of blood that comes back in. And then just for a little counter stretch, we're gonna lean away from that side hip. So the leg that's in front, take that hand, reach it up and lean away from that hip and just take a little counter stretch. Nice, and then when you're ready, lift up and then we're gonna swing it to the other side. So spin your legs around or swing them around in any way that works good for you to get you there. And then once you found your way there, just give a second to let your legs find a happy position. And then once you feel like your legs are good, then rotate. So the leg that's in front of you, we're rotating towards that knee. And then again, you might choose a more upright position. You might choose to keep the chest lifted. You might choose to come down elbows and forearms, or if you've got plenty of space to move, you can lower, reach your arms nice and long and lower to a depth that works good in your body. And then once you found your way, invite some softness back in, soften your legs. See if you can soften your shoulders. Maybe you'll even notice breath between your shoulder blades there.
take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to bring yourself up. Unwind and as you come to center, take that nice big breath and just notice that fresh wave of blood that comes in. And then for that little counter stretch, the leg that's in front, that hand is gonna reach up, lean over to the side and just create some lengths back into that side, that side that was compressed and had that little bit of work going on. So just find that nice big reach. Awesome. And then when you're ready, lift it all back up. And now we're going to take it into a butterfly position. So soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. And here's another place where stacking some pillows underneath the outsides of your thighs might feel good. We're going to take tonight's butterfly position in a fold. So hands hold wherever you like. You might choose to catch hold of your toes. You might choose to bring your thumbs to the insteps and peel the feet open a little bit, but you're just going to let your heart fold forward just a little bit to a point that feels nice and comfortable which means your hands might be supporting. You might choose not to fold at all. This might already be plenty for you, but if it feels good to fold forward, find a depth that works good for your body and then invite some softness in. And you can change the, the shape of your diamond. So my external rotation works great. My, my heels can come in nice and close and I feel comfortable there, but sometimes it's nicer to move the heels a little further away from the body so that you can soften without yanking against your knees or yanking against your hips. So make sure that you're feeling like you can find a soft stillness in the position of your body that feels right. And then it might feel good to close your eyes down here and just tune in. Notice your feet first. See if you can let your feet and your toes and your soles of your feet soften. Do your ankles feel comfortable? Can you let your ankles get soft and heavy? We're halfway through our hold in this position. So just do a quick assess if there's anything that needs adjusting. Find that soft little movement that gets you where you need to be and then come back to that soft stillness. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to bring yourself up and out of that fold and then grab the outsides of your thighs, help your legs come together, lean back a little bit and just take a couple of gentle windshield wipers, just rocking the knees side to side, soothing everything out. And then because we have kept a couple of bent knee positions it might also feel good to just extend the legs long and wiggle out the ankles, wiggle out the knees. Anything that gets you out of that dull ache that you may come across as you come out of these postures. And then when you feel ready, we're gonna to start to find our way down onto our back and we're gonna find our way into a half happy baby. So come down onto your back. We're gonna start with the right leg and then we'll move on to the left. So left leg is gonna start in a bent knee position and we're gonna pick the right leg up. You might choose to just grab hold of the back of your thigh and take the knee outside of the ribs just a little bit, hugging the knee up towards the shoulder. That might 
feel like a great position to be in. What we want is that slight external rotation and then just a little opening in the hip. Now, if it feels like you want a little bit more sensation, you might choose to grab hold of your foot, blade edge of the foot, big toe, that'll be totally up to you. But then it's gonna let gra gravity do a little bit of extra work for you. So the weight of your arm is gonna let that knee drop just a little bit further down to the side. So once you've got a hand hold that works good for you, then you're gonna check in with that left leg. You might choose to keep it bent or you might choose to extend it or somewhere in between. So make sure your left leg feels like it can just be comfortable, soft and heavy. Most of the work we're finding is on the right side right now. Once you've got your hold that works good for you, see if you can snuggle your shoulders down, let them get soft and heavy. And then see if you can just come back to your breath, watching your inhalation and watching your exhalation. If you're holding onto your foot, you will find there's a little effort in your hand hold. So to the best of your ability, you can soften your hands, but it does need to create a little bit of grip to keep that foot in place. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to release. You're gonna let go of your foot if you're holding onto the foot, bring that knee into that more central location and then just take that knee and both hands draw it in a couple of circles going in one direction. And then draw that knee in circles, go the other way. Awesome. And then when you're ready, release that foot down to the ground and we're going to take it right to the other side. So again, you might choose to just hold the back of the thigh, taking the knee out wide. That might feel like a happier position to be in. So you still get that hip opener without that extreme pressure of gravity helping you out. But if you like that more depth of work, you might choose to hold your foot, blade edge of the foot or big toe. That'll be totally up to you. But the knee is out to the side and then you're just going to let everything get soft here. Whatever you like with that right leg, you can keep it bent. You can extend it nice and long or somewhere in between, whatever works good for you. But once you've got yourself there, come back to that soft stillness.
We're halfway through our hold on this side. So just check in, make sure everything is feeling good. You're breathing comfortably. You're finding that ability to soften the muscles. So we're getting into that connective tissue. If you're efforting too much in the breath, maybe you choose to change your handhold a little bit so you can softer, soften the position. But if all is feeling good, hang tight, soft in the breath, soften your muscles. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly release your handhold, bring that knee back in towards your chest and then take that knee, draw it in some circles, go in one direction. And then take that knee and draw it in circles the other way. Awesome. Now for our next posture, we're gonna take a little time to set it up. So you're gonna send your left leg up towards the sky and then bring the right leg up to meet. And just take a second to just kind of wiggle out your toes, wiggle out your knees, and then just notice how your legs are feeling. Now we're gonna bend the right knee and swing the right foot over so that your left hand can grab it. So we're swinging it behind the left thigh and then see if you can reach your hand and hold on to that foot. Once you've got a handhold, you're gonna kind of pull the heel towards your left left side of your butt. And then we're going to drop that right knee down towards the ground. And once you've got that knee to a depth that feels good to you, then you're going to bend the left foot and set it down. So now you're going to let that right knee relax. So the right knee is in an external rotation. The heel is over towards the left side of your butt. And then once you've got your way there, invite that softness back in. And then once you're in a position that works good, you can choose to let your hand go if it feels like your leg does not need that support. But if you need that support, if you're like, the minute you let that foot go, it's gonna just ricochet. Well, you might choose to soften your position anyways, but if it feels better to hold onto the foot, you do whatever feels the best to you there. Encourage softness through that right inner thigh, the top of your thigh. So your quadricep muscles, you wanna see if you can just to the best of your ability, let them relax. Notice if you've picked up any tension in the upper body, the shoulders, your arms, can you encourage some softness into your upper body, a little softness in your belly?
Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, start by picking up your left knee, bring it up towards your chest so that you can lift that right leg up and bring that leg into me. So both knees into the chest, give a light little squeeze, and then maybe just hold on to the backs of the thighs and give a couple of good bend and straightens of the leg. Check in, make sure everything is feeling good. And then once you feel like you've kind of worked out that dull leg, you may have felt quite a bit of sensation through the top of that right thigh. You're gonna send both legs back up towards the ceiling and now keep your right leg straight, bend your left knee, and then swing that foot around the back side of that thigh so your right hand can catch hold of that foot. Once you've got a handhold, can you bring the heel a little closer to the butt and then let that leg lower down. Once you've got your leg down, then soften the right leg. And then you choose your own adventure here. You can choose to hold on to the foot if that works good for you, or you can let it go. I personally like to let it go, but you choose whatever works the best in your body and then see if you can right away encourage some softness. Encouraging the top of the left thigh to relax. Soften your feet. Soften your belly. Take a moment to assess. Did you pick up any tension in your right leg or foot? Can you let that space soften? Bringing that softness back into the belly and then encouraging softness through the left thigh, especially the top of the thigh and the inner thigh. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to release. Bring your right knee up, lift the left knee, leg up to follow. So both knees are gonna come into the chest. Maybe give yourself a little squeeze, a little rock side to side. And then if it feels good, maybe just extend those legs up and then bring them back down. So just bring a little length back into the backs of your legs. Awesome. And then when you feel good and ready, bend your left knee, pull it into your chest, extend your right leg long. We're going to take just a quick supine twist, not going to stay there for our nice long period of time. 
but just bring that left knee over and across the body. Find a little spinal twist, maybe turn your head to the left, take a nice big breath. Cool, and then pull that knee back into the chest, bring the right knee in to meet, hold on to your right knee, let your left leg go nice and long. And then we're gonna take that right knee over to the left across the body, finding a little spinal twist here. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then bring it back in, pull the right knee in, bring the left knee in to meet, give yourself a little hug, a little squeeze, maybe a gentle rock side to side, and then ask your body, where would be your best Shavasana? Would it feel good to come to constructive rest with your feet out wide and knees dropped in towards each other? Would it feel good to take that more traditional shape and walk your feet nice and long? And then especially if you're in a cool room or in a colder climate, it might feel good to put some socks on or a sweater or a blanket just to get yourself nice and cozy. Awesome, and then once you feel like you're good and tucked in, everything feels like it's in a great position, let some stillness come back into your body. If it feels right to do so, close your eyes down. Allow a little time to let your breath return to its natural rhythm. Let your arms get soft and heavy. Let your legs get soft and heavy. If you're gripping or holding any tension in your hips, in your butt or your belly, let those places get nice and soft. Soften your jaw, soften your cheekbones, soften the space between your eyes.
start to bring your awareness back into your body. Gently wake up your fingers and wake up your toes. Invite a little movement into your wrists and into your ankles. If it feels good to do so, maybe turn your head a little bit side to side. And then if your legs were in a bent position, maybe extend them nice and long and take a big good morning stretch. Stretch your arms up and overhead, reach through your fingers, reach through your toes and just take a nice big breath back into your body. Fill your lungs up. And then in your own way, at your own pace, start to find your way to a seated position. And if you like, just to do that little bit of check-in, maybe you'll come back to that seated position we started with, with the knees together, toes together, and the heels out to the side. So you sit back onto your heels and just see how that position feels now in your body as compared to when we started. If it didn't feel great when we started, you might choose not to go there at all. So see what position might feel nice to you. And then once you've found your way there, just finding a nice tall upright spine, bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart, close your eyes down for a moment or soften your gaze and just come back to your breath. Take a nice gentle inhale. Slow exhale, let your shoulders soften. Another inhale, breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And on your next exhale, let your shoulders soften, jaw soften, and think about letting go of anything you're holding onto that won't serve you through the rest of your night. And when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes, bow to you. Happy Monday.